Happy New Year, and welcome back to Your Week in Fandom for January 13th, 2017. As you surely know by now, the world of fandom collectively mourned the passing of Carrie Fisher while we were away. Fisher's death has been followed by an outpouring of love from friends, peers like Mark Hamill, and the world of fandom. With efforts like this fan-made star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, a petition at Change.org to make Leia an official Disney princess, tons of fan art, and a tribute at the Golden Globe celebrating Fisher's career alongside that of her mother, Debbie Reynolds, who passed away a day after her daughter. Now we know that Fisher did complete filming her parts for episode 8, including a reunion with her Jedi brother Luke, but it's unclear how Fisher's passing will affect the ongoing Star Wars saga. Certainly she will be missed, but never forgotten. The rest of the Golden Globe ceremony was full of musical numbers like this one, promising Barb from Stranger Things is alive, she's totally dead, big victories for La La Land and Atlanta, woo woo, and a ton of WTF moments. But perhaps my favorite was the sudden smooch between Ryan Reynolds and Andrew Garfield. That's right, folks. We got Deadpool locking lips with Spidey. But don't get your hopes up for live action Spidey Deadpool bromance. The rights alone would be hell. And Garfield already passed his red and blue jammies down to Tom Holland. Maybe this means the ongoing cable casting call is about to get a whole lot sexier? Ooh. <laughs> Na 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 Now, what's with all the back and forth on Ben Affleck's solo Batman? First he's doing it, then it's a maybe, then only if the script is good, and the whole time he's releasing story details and hiring Joe Manganiello as the villain, giving a whole new meaning to Deathstroke. So what's going on? I mean, we know Warner is having a tough time whipping up the excitement for Justice League following the meme-worthy in all the wrong ways Batman vs Superman. I mean, have... <sighs> Excuse me. Have you seen... <sighs> <sighs> so boring. Have you seen the new still? Or is that the old one? Oh, I can't tell anymore. I mean, come on. Seen it. Seen it. Meh. Seen it, unfortunately. Oh, and you get a pass, Aquaman. If anyone deserves it, it's you, buddy. But isn't someone missing, I don't know, that bright center of hope? This looks like a job for Superman! But he's dead, so we get grumpy Ben instead. I get it, Ben. It's Daredevil all over again. You're forgiven. That wasn't your fault. But this could be. I mean, come on. If the guy making the movie can't get excited about it, how are we supposed to? Whoa, I'm working! <laughs> Give me a second! All right, all right, take your bat time. Whew, peace. Now, speaking of things no one is excited about, Deadpool co-creator and illustrator of many pouches, Rob Liefeld, recently signed a deal to bring the 90s back to the extreme. With a new cinematic universe of movies based on his line of comics like Blood Strike and Kaboom and uh, Blood Wolf. Ugh, ugh, I give up. Do we really need another cinematic universe? I mean, if Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers can't get the Justice League to work, how the hell is anyone supposed to make rejects? Now, I'm all for 90s coming back if we're talking flannel and Nirvana, but come on, Rob. I need hands and feet, bro. Now, the extreme cinematic universe is coming whether we asked for it or not. I didn't. Did you? But according to Rob, that 90s audience is out there somewhere. <gasps> Poised and ready to strike. <gasps> and the big news in games this week comes from Nintendo. First with a late night live stream chock full of details about the new console, and today with an unveiling event for press in New York. Lucky for you, fandom's got some boots on the ground in the Big Apple to check it out. Hey everybody, this is Henry Gilbert here in New York City outside of the Nintendo store. We are in town to see the Nintendo Switch for the first time ever. They just revealed it last night. It's going to be 300 bucks. It's going to be out March 3rd. The One of the launch games is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which people have been waiting years and years to play. On top of that, there is a ton of brand new games, including Super Mario Odyssey, a brand new 3D Mario adventure that is going to take the character into whole new places. It all looks amazing. You can see a ton more of our write-ups on the site, and we're going to be playing the games later today, so be sure to check those out on fandom.com. All right, guys, and that's your Week in Fandom. As always, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at GetFandom. I'm Fiona Renee, and it's good to be back.